So, President Muhammad Buhari, as Desmond Elliott said, he knew something was wrong at the toll gate. This is still DJM TV Daily News update. The Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Uriwa, has called on President Muhammad Buhari to sack Lai Mohamed, who is the Minister for Information and Culture. Uriwa made this call after the judicial panel of inquiry on the restitution for victims of SARS-related abuses and orders submitted their report to the governor of Lagos State, Babajide Shawolu. They said that the shooting at the Lekki toll gate on the 20th of October 2020 actually took place and lives were lost. Uriwa said that the Minister for Information and Culture, Lai Mohamed, had repeatedly said that the shootings at the Lekki toll gate was not as bad as they were portraying it, adding that no lives were lost on the 20th of October 2020 at the Lekki toll gate and even demanded apologies from persons and organizations who reported loss of lives during the incident. And following the revelations of the findings made by the Lagos State Judicial Panel of Inquiry on Restitution for Victims of SARS-related Abuses and Others, Oriwa has called on the federal government to sack the Minister for Information and Culture. The group said that they are asking President Muhammad Buhari as a biological father of many well-educated children to order the arrest and prosecution of his Minister for Information, Lai Mohamed, for committing a grave and heartless offense that is equivalent to the denial of the Holocaust of the 6 million Jews by Adolf Hitler, which is punishable by nearly half a century of incarceration. The group also commended the brave members and the chairperson of the Lagos State Judicial Panel of Inquiry on the hashtag NSAS protest, especially the circumstances surrounding the massive cases of extrajudicial killings by the army and armed police when these armed forces opened fire with lethal weapons targeted at the unarmed protesters. Oriwa called on President Muhammadu Buhari saying that he must know that as a father of many children, he needs to ensure that impunity is never tolerated, especially the extrajudicial killings of very young stars of Nigeria by the army just for protesting police brutality. The group also called on President Muhammadu Buhari to take action, stating that he will forever be remembered as the one who oversaw the genocide of young Nigerian protesters and generations to come will never forgive him if he doesn't take actions against those who said that the incidents did not occur. This is the DGM TV Daily News update. The report made by the Lagos State Judicial Panel of Inquiry on Restitution for Victims of SARS-related abuses and other matters revealed that 48 protesters were either shot dead injured with bullet wounds or assaulted by soldiers against Lai Mohamed's claim that nothing of such happened on the 20th of October 2020 at the toll gate. Meanwhile, Nollywood actor turned politician Desmond Elliott has reacted to the report by the Lagos State Ensas panel which was released on Monday the 15th of November 2021. Speaking in a live interview, Desmond Elliott said that he had read the report and knew already that the incident, which took place on the 20th of October 2020 at the Lekki toll gate, was chaotic. He said he knew the truth regarding the incident would surface one day and that it was a pattern for the government in power. In his words, Desmond Elliott said, I read it and it was very heartbreaking, heart-wrenching. I knew there was a calamity chaos. Except you are not Nigerian or you are not human, you will feel for everybody. I have always said something. 
when MKO died and the government of the day denied and denied. It took this government to come and say, you know what, we have wronged you. This is the truth. And they actually gave us Democracy Day. Desmond said, we have always said the truth comes out. There is no how you will try to hide it. The truth will always come out. Desmond Elliott has also commended the Lagos State Government for letting the report of the judicial panel on the NSAS related issue see the light of day. Desmond Elliott said that the actions of the Lagos State Government was very commendable as it would have known that the report would indict it, but it still allowed the report to be released. Desmond said, looking at the whole situation from another angle, is it possible that this government did not know what was going to come out? Of course they did, but the government of the day, I am talking of the state government, I want to believe knew what was going to come out. There is going to be an official statement, so let me not jump the gun because I am also in office. It will be recalled that Nigerian actor come politician Desmond Elliott had come under attack in 2020 for asking the Speaker of the Lagos State House of Assembly to address certain things like the Nigerian youth, the social media, and the social media influencers. This is still DJM TV Daily News Update. So there you have it guys. Uh, the Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Uriwa, has told President Muhammad Buhari to arrest and persecute his minister for information and culture, talking about the person of Alaji Lai Mohamed. They have said that Lai Mohamed constantly denied the fact that the Lekki Togate shooting actually took place. As a matter of fact, he said uh, CNN should be sanctioned. A lot of TV stations were sanctioned for reporting the incident. And they have said that President Muhammad Gwari should set a precedence that will clear his name of the Lekki Togate shooting, which took place on the 20th of October 2020. They have said that Lai Mohamed is not fit to be the Minister for Information and Culture if he will not give the true information of things going on in the country. Also, Desmond Elliott, Nollywood actor and Lagos State politician has said that he knew that something was wrong when he read the report. He said he knew that the Lekki Togate shooting was really very chaotic. And what baffles him is the fact that the Lagos State government knew or they know that the report coming out will indict them it will drag their name in the mud that they were part of those who gave the order on the 20th of october 2020 at the lekki target but yet they allowed the report to be released he said that uh, babaji de shawolu should really be commended for his effort so there you have it guys what are your thoughts and comments concerning these issues we just brought to you uh do you agree with ori that lai mohammed should be sacked by the president and also do you agree with desmond elliott that the lagos state government knew that they were going to be indicted and yet allowed uh you know the judicial panel which was set up to address the answers issues and other related uh, matters to release their report drop your thoughts and comments in the comment section below thank you so much for staying with us till the very end of this video do not forget to go a step further if you've not done so please subscribe and turn on the notification bell also do not forget to like and share this video do follow us on all our social media platforms on facebook instagram twitter and also check out our website at www.djmtv.net guess what guys from the 1st of august 2021 djmtv offers you an opportunity to report your events from where you are on our channel we we'll call it Report Yourself to the World. You want to be a part of this great program? Then please click on our bow, send us a message, and we'll give you details on how to report yourself to the world. They are coming away again with another exciting edition of DJM TV Daily News Update. I remain your host, Laburu Faith. Yeah! Welcome to DJ TV.
DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ TV. Some of the delegates are DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ TV.